Joining us now is Ambassador John Bolton, former assistant to the president for national security affairs. Ambassador, I'm so grateful that you're here. I, I suspect it's not the first time that you and I have had a conversation when we've seen Iran chanting death to Israel, death to America. Is this different than conversations we've had in the past? Well, I think so. I think this is a very serious point. And, uh, and the president's uh, uh, dismissing the question, are you abandoning Israel, is, is really quite surprising, because uh, there is now a risk, I think, of an Iran retaliation uh, directly against Israel. And we don't know what it might be or, or, uh, or what extent it might uh, really bring the, the region closer to direct Israel-Iran conflict. But the fact is, it's, it's, we've been close to it because of the, the nature of what the threat that Israel faces, m most of which comes from Iran, uh, in Gaza, in, in the north from Hezbollah. Uh, this attack on the consulate in Damascus was not simply uh, uh, eliminating several top leaders of the Iranian Quds Force. It also crossed an Iranian red line. They said, we will not tolerate any attacks on Iranian soil. And the soil of an embassy compound is considered to be the sovereign territory of the embassy. Now, of course, Iran crosses whatever red lines it wants, uh, but now Israel has crossed one of theirs. So the, the extent, the nature of this Iranian response is going to be very important, could be very dangerous. It could be they back off. It could be they're intimidated by what Israel may do. So we'll have to wait and see. You know, initially the CIA had that 48-hour that tentative deadline, and now some of the reports are saying perhaps early next week. Obviously, we don't know. that. Like you said, there's intelligence that something is coming. There's not necessarily intelligence as to where and when and what. I think every, every parent, every human in America is saying, what will it take to get U.S. boots on the ground? So what is the U.S. threshold? Well, if, if, for example, there were a direct attack on Israel from Iran, then I think the U.S. would, would definitely get involved uh, to help protect Israel. If, if the response came in the force of missile or drone attacks from Hezbollah in the north, I think it's less likely. But Israel's in a very difficult position, and uh, it's, it's bogged down in Gaza. You can see what the administration's trying to do to slow its effort to eliminate Hamas. At the same time, the threat from Hezbollah in Lebanon and Syria is much more serious military, militarily. And if, if uh, Hezbollah fires barrages of missiles or drones that overwhelm Israel's air defenses, there could be a serious threat uh, and, and potentially enormous civilian casualties. So Israel lives in a dangerous neighborhood. It's in a vulnerable position now. Uh, and this, frankly, is not the time for the United States to be calling into question uh, our support for Israel's right to self-defense. Right. I think if you're a, a consumer of anything in the Middle East, you realize that there are so many heads on the snake. It is sometimes difficult to keep it clear. And I think my question, and I, forgive me if this is repetitive, is there an opportunity for it to stay regional, for it to stay sort of proxy? I mean, it was just Monday that we recommitted additional weapons. So whether or not we want to admit it, obviously, we are very much invested. Um, so is there a way that it would stay sort of contained? Sure. I think if Iran doesn't really respond in a vigorous way, that that would be an indication that they don't want to see further attacks on Iranian territory. Uh, Iran has been dialing up or dialing down the activity of the various terrorist groups to suit its agenda, which mm -hmm. is not discernible to us. Uh, after 170 attacks on American personnel in Iraq and Syria after October 7, uh, a, a strong American response against Iranian assets in Iraq has largely stopped those attacks. But I think that's, that's an example of, uh, of how Iran is really controlling this situation overall. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.